Hello, this is the Truth Seeker 333. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to start doing uh, videos on uh, some of the things that I've been struggling with emotionally lately in regard to trying to figure out if I am on the autistic spectrum. Now, from what I understand, all of us are somewhere on this mental spectrum. And some of us are closer to more drastic sides of the spectrum than others. And it's not like a linear spectrum, but we could have strengths in, in different aspects of mental capabilities. And so, um, so basically, um, uh, I've been thinking that the main thing that, that has been my biggest struggle is dealing with uh, emotional overload. Now, it's very hard for me to think that I'm not normal or quote-unquote neurotypical um, because, um, I mean, my whole life I've felt normal and... Uh, I still haven't been diagnosed as being on the spectrum. But I think that I might be based on how I handle emotional situations. And um, so, like, for instance, um, we went to a Thanksgiving gathering uh, yesterday, and um, this was just at a, uh, a friend's house that was a lot of people that I didn't know. And so it was hard for me to connect with individuals. Not that that is, <laughs> not that that's abnormal for, for different, you know, neurotypical individuals you want to call that neurotypical um but at times i was just sitting by myself just listening to all of the activity all around me and i was thinking to myself gee i really would like to start up a conversation with this gentleman over there uh, you know, we had spoke briefly, you know, earlier that evening about, you know, a different topic or whatever. And I thought, well, you know, he had to step away because he got a phone call. And I thought, oh, gee, maybe I could strike up that conversation again with him. And, you know, then I wouldn't just be sitting here by myself looking like I'm a loner. And, and of course, my wife was you know, the social butterfly that she is. And and so I was able to kind of interact in some of those situations. But, um, you know, the more I just sat there to think about, you know, like how could I approach this individual to to continue the conversation, it just seemed so awkward to me. And I've always been very opposed to situations that just don't flow naturally you know like i don't i for the life of me i could not figure out how i could like um strike up this conversation um without it being weird you know and i think that is one of the other things is like i've always sort of been more um you know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to look weird. I don't want to stand out. And so it's easier for me to not, you know, fumble over my words or feel like I'm going to be, uh, you know, initiating a, a conversation that, that somebody doesn't want to have or something, you know. Um, you know, aside from the fact that, you know, by the time we got home, my brain was just like fried. Like, like I know that's normal for like a lot of people, but I think that with me, I just feel like it's, it's a constant thing. Like every 
every other day or like every two days, it's like, I feel like I just need to like gel, you know, like, is that normal? Like to me, I think it's normal. Like, I think it's normal to like have to recharge, you know, but you know, is it just me trying to justify that, that, you know, I am quote unquote more neurotypical than, than, um, you know, somebody with a little more on the, the autistic spectrum. Um, you know, cause it's like, I'll make an excuse, you know, like I need time to focus. I need time to like work, you know, on like my homework or something. And I'll run off to like the coffee shop and like put my earphones in. And then like, I end up not doing any homework for like the whole day. And I just, just gel and like study other things. You know, like today I was just studying, uh, I was just studying like autistic spectrum all day, you know, because I'm like, is that, you know, is that what I'm going through? It was like, and I'm watching all these videos and I'm like, yeah, that like, I could totally relate with that, but couldn't a lot of people relate with it? I mean, but, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be questioning this if I didn't have other people in my life, you know, saying um, that there are certain behaviors that I have that, that sort of contribute to this idea that maybe I am like, a little more on the autistic spectrum and you know things like how I handle my emotions you know and like how I connect with with other uh, individuals you know like most of all my friends are like from my childhood you know there's like not like compared to my wife like I connect with some of her friends you know and if it wasn't for her, then I wouldn't be connecting with with other individuals, I don't think. Unless I really had, like, um, more activities where I was getting involved. You know, because, like, when I was young, I got involved in, like, choir. And that's, like, a common activity. And you can, like, really build friendships when you're in a choir and stuff like that. Um, but outside of that, it's like, you know, I have all these like really niche, you know, interests that not a lot of people are interested in talking about or, or you know, stuff like that. But, um, um, so it's, you know, it's like kind of like where I just feel like everything's swirling inside of my head that I can't find my center. You know, like, you know, when I was younger, I would just spend hours in my bedroom just, like, praying, you know. And, and you know, that kind of makes me suspect that, like, maybe I am on the autistic spectrum because, you know, not only was it beneficial to me, like, spiritually, but you know, perhaps, you know, if I am a little more on the autistic spectrum, it also gave me this, uh, you know, time to um, kind of like find my center and like um, just sort of like diffuse all of the the stimuli that I had to go through, like in a, on a daily basis, you know, like, you know, get home from work and just like so drained from like being a box boy for like four hours at the supermarket or whatever when I was younger and the interactions that I had with everybody and just like coming home and just I can remember just like falling onto my bed in an emotional wreck and just feeling that that need to like just pray okay now, to me, this just sounds normal. I mean, like, 
I mean, and that's the problem with this whole thing of like autistic spectrum. It's like, how do you explain it um, in a way that doesn't sound like what everybody else goes through? I mean, well, for me, for one, like how many people like, like literally go into their room for like four hours at a time and just like pray, you know? Um, Cause for me, it wasn't just like prayer the whole time. You know, it was like if I was there on my knees in prayer, I couldn't pray until I found some sort of peace in my mind. You know, to me, it was like, okay, kneel down and prepare your mind. And it was like just this like swirling in my head and like just total confusion for like, I don't know how long for just like lengths of time that, that I had to like come to some kind of clarity, you know? And then finally I just feel like a lifting off of my mind because I'm just like totally isolated in my room and then I could really connect with God you know and really find a little more peace and so you know it's like that is like uh, what I want you know I want that kind of time to myself you know but as I get older it's harder for me to have that you know without feeling like I'm like neglecting <laughs> my family or, you know, everybody around me. Um, but now it's kind of at the point where like, I don't even feel at times I don't feel like the person I want to be because I'm always dealing with like a numbness. I'm just like emotionally numb and I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, um, process, like I can't figure out, I, I can't figure out what, um, what I feel about what's going on. All I can, all I can, all I can think is I don't want to, it's just too much stress. I can't, there's too many things. There's too many variables going on that I cannot I cannot identify the the reason that I feel the way I do. Like it would take like it would take me a, like a whole day or or some time alone to like process it and just be like, oh, you know, that's why I feel like crap, you know. Um, but I mean, it doesn't like it doesn't stop me from like really realizing now that it's like, okay, yeah, I'm depressed. Uh, <laughs> I'm depressed and, and I just want to get away from it all. I just need to isolate myself. Um, so I don't really want to connect with anybody. I mean, I do, but I just, Yeah, I mean, like, it's not that I don't want to connect with anybody. I mean, I do. I just, I just um, feel like nobody realizes that I, that I do. Like, like nobody realizes that I do want to say things. And like, if I start to say things that I'm not saying them in a way that people are going to listen to me, you know, like, um, so, it's just like, there are certain things I realize about uh, repetitive behaviors and routines. Like, I had my routine. Like, when I was younger, I had my routine of like, when I got in, when I was in high school, I had my routine to like, keep me like, sane and like, like, um, peaceful and like focused and then clear, you know, but, but then the more those things like 
the more responsibilities you take on as you, you know, mature and you, you develop more relationships and, and more is required of you, the less, the less energy and resources you have to, to deal with what I'm calling like emotional sensory overload, like, um, And it's almost like, okay, well, I have stretched myself a great deal over the years. And I've like, I've learned how to like cope with these emotions, like much better than I used to. And just like totally neglect myself emotionally and like just muscle through it and like get through it. And, you know, but at some point, like you deprive your 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 emotional nurturing you know like so much that it's too far you have to like start thinking about your own um your own heart and you know like your own emotional center and like your own peace you know and um so it's just like does that mean that i'm on the autistic spectrum like like I'm saying these things like almost like I realize I, that I am like, but at the same time, I still haven't been like professionally diagnosed, you know? So like I'm going ahead and I'm going to do that. And like, like I'll let you guys know, you know, like what, uh, what happens to that, you know, like, you know, but in like, I'm almost certain that I am, you know, that I'm going to get diagnosed as that, but, um, but on the other end of it, it's like, if I'm not, <laughs> then, you know, like, then fine, you know, like, let's just move on with life and like, you know, deal with it and move on and like, okay, I am, or okay, I'm not, you know, like, I just, uh, I'm so tired, <laughs> so tired of the, uh, the struggle, you know, like, you know, obviously this is like, you know, life, life's a struggle, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, I just feel like, I feel like the world is judging me and, one of the reasons I feel that way is because I tend to like always be on the the layoff list. Like when it comes to a reduction in workforce at, at, at certain jobs, um, you know, I'm out of work again. I've been out of work for over six months. And uh, the last job I was at, it was just sort of the linchpin. I just felt like I was on the out and I felt like there was this whole click. And I just like now that I look back on it, I'm just thinking were these people just like, you know, like keeping me at a hand's length because they felt I was not relating to them, you know, like emotionally connecting to them, um, you know, and if that's the case, then I'm just like really angry and I'm like, why doesn't anybody ever tell me these things? I mean, I have other people that are closer to me that do tell me these things. And I do know that I don't have a lot of cl close friends except like either friends that I've had from childhood or school, you know, um, you know, it, it's not that I can't connect with people and have close friends. It's just that like it requires a great deal of like energy on my part, like, um, for me, it's easier just to like connect with like my wife's friends, connect with my brother's friends, connect with like, um, people that where I'm like involved in activities, but like, I'm not involved in a lot of activities. So, you know, that kind of negates the whole thing, you know? So it's like, I don't have a lot of of male um, 
friends to like hang out with and talk about niche <laughs> topics or whatever. But, um, you know, it's just, um, I don't know. Um, you know, and there's just like other things which I could probably get into in some other videos, but, um, yeah, I, I have the suspicion that I am on the autistic spectrum. Um, let me know your thoughts and God bless you all and peace be with you. All right. Bye-bye.